Um, <clears throat> just as to the last comment, I'm one of those that was broken into, so I didn't want to break it that I know for a fact that there were seven homes in recent, the very recent period broken into. Uh, there was an alert that went out by Hoondale to residents because of the number of break-ins, including two in their area. I know the police were courteous, they went to my home, I actually beat them home, I went fully along the home, and nevertheless my door was kicked in, 1245 million. So this is not a car breaking, this is not being, being negligent with the cars open. And that's really set that aside for my five minutes as I want to use it wisely. I have two comments tonight. I'll try to read them because I think they're related. <clears throat> and then when we get them out, then I'll read it to you as how much time I'm going to spend on them. First, I'd like to know from those that are sitting um, on the township committee this evening whether or not you definitively knew that Mayor Schaffer had accepted the state position prior to the day of the election. These questions I'll raise, these comments I'll make, are simply me as an independent person. They're not about the party. They're not about the election process. They're something that I think actually I and others that I talk to would like to know. So one of the things I'd like to know is whether or not you, in fact, knew uh, that that had to happen. Second, <clears throat> in my profession, which is a CPA, uh, we talk about pin, uh, independence. We talk about it in both parents and in fact. So what I'll read to you really is from my perspective and my comments on in particular, uh, my comments from Mayor Schaffner about this, so let me just read this into the record. <clears throat> I'd like to understand if the new position that you have will in any way inhibit your ability to objectively and independently participate in matters of importance to our community, such as color. <coughs> that is, if you're a new position as director of the Office of Planning Advocacy, a senior member of the state government, I'm really just not sure, so I raise this as a question, and I'm questioning whether you can become involved, intimately involved with any negotiations we have as a local township with respect to some of these really key issues that are both state issues and local issues. And I raise that call being one, rezoning issues, and others that have bugged out with the prop up including state budget crisis and otherwise. We've lived through that and will continue to, I suspect. I just want to make certain we don't have any potential conflicts of interest. I'm wondering whether or not prior to acceptance of the position, there was guidance sought by you, whether there's been guidance provided to you by the State Attorney General's Office as it relates to your duties to this town versus that of your official state capacity. I'm trying to fundamentally just understand in your newly elected position, congratulations, I just want to make sure that I have an independent and objective local government that is monitoring and dealing with the issues. We know each other, we've spoken candidly, these are questions that I think need to go on directly to so raise them to that for you to respond. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, there will be no conflict. 